Hello everyone, once again I am here with you all through this video with the one of very important chapter of class 10 from political size segment and the title of the chapter is Federalism. You can see here Federalism. So this chapter is very important to know or important to understand as every chapters are important most of the in every video I am saying like that. But what, why it is so important to understand because India is a federal state. Yes or no? What we call India is a federal state. So why we call India as a federal state or what makes India as a federal state? In this chapter, we will try to understand all this important note that what makes India a federal state and what kind of federation do we practice in our country. So before going to understand that, let us try to start in this way. As we have discussed in the previous chapter, the power sharing, uh, in democracy, the power do not remains in the hand of some group of people or an, an individual, right? So there is a decentralization of power power get it dis distributed and do you know the two very important nature of power sharing in modern democracy that is horizontal form of power sharing and vertical form of power sharing in this particular segment we can say federalism as one of the very important vertical form of power sharing in modern democracy right as you can see here vertical form of power sharing in modern democracy the federalism reflect that idea now let us try to understand what is federalism then if federalism is a vertical form of power sharing then what is federalism then it's very simple the federalism means the existence of the government at dual level. Dual means here at the two level, right? At the two level or more, two or more, right? Dual level. And there is a decentralization, decentralization of power between center and state or other institutions, right? So what is federalism? Federalism means existence of government at two or more level and there is a decentralization of powers between the center state and any other form of government that exists in that country. That is federalism. So if that is federalism, if federalism is all about the existence of two or more level of government in our country, then how we can identify whether that country is federal country or not? So to understand that there is a certain features. We need to understand these features. The moment we understand these features or that characteristics which lies in the functioning of the state or the country, then we can say or we can identify or we can assume an idea Yes, this is what federal state. But before going to tell you about the federal state, it is very important to understand a one very short note that is a unitary form of government. When we talk about the federalism or federal state is that state where power is decentralized between center and state and any other form of government right that is a federal state right then what is unitary state it is just opposite to federal state or the idea of federalism when we talk about the federal state or federal uh, federal state or federalism then we understand this thing existence of the government at two or more level decentralization of power between center and the state if this character makes any state as a federal state or federalism, then what is unitary? In unitary form of government or unitary state, you find that there is a 
almost no decentralization of power between the center and the state. Most of the powers or almost you can say all the powers are exercised by the union government, central government and the state government and any other uh, form of government that exists in unitary uh, st uh, uh, state no, they remain just, they remain as just subordinate to the center. It means what center will plan, what center will uh, uh, thought of uh, doing something, all those plans and ideas will simply get executed by the state and the other form of government that exists in unit. Overall, Major decisions and all the powers are exercised and enjoyed by the central state. This is unitary. And unit just federalist state is just opposite to that. So if it is like that, it is very important to understand the features of federalism. Let us see what are these. In federalism, what you find, the features are what? In federalism, you find that two or more level of government. In any federal state, you will find there is the existence of two or more level of government. Take in case of our country, we have a government at central level, state level and community level. Yes or no? So more than two. Can we call India as a federal state? Yes, we can call. Why? Because one of the most important features of federalism. Another each government has its own jurisdiction. When we talk about the jurisdiction, it means area of work. What it is? Area of work. Of legislation. What are the laws need to make? Taxation, the sources of revenue collections and administration and how to administrate its state. Right? This is. So this is another. See, in our country, there are so many uh, areas that comes under the central government. And central government, for the betterment of this country, for the safety of the country, for the development of the country, on all those areas which comes under its control, it makes a law and it executes that law. Yes or no? And no other state's government interfere in the matter of center. Correct? In the same way, every state in India, they make laws, they execute laws as per the demand of that particular state. For the safety, for the betterment and for the progress of that state and central government do not interfere in the matter of the state. Now with this point what we understand, we understand that each government has their own jurisdiction and one do not interfere in the matters of other. This is another very important features of federalism. Thirdly, the fundamental provinces of the constitutions cannot be changed without the consent of both the governments. Fundamental provinces, when we talk about what is all related to people's rights and liberties. When the questions of people's rights and liberties come in federal state, central government or state government alone cannot take any decision to bring any kind of changes in that. Why? Because that is related to people's rights and liberties. In that particular respect, both the central government and the state government, they have to come together to bring any kind of changes in these provinces. Clear? Get it? Very simple. So this is another, this is another features of federalism. Fourth one is, judiciary has power to interpret the constitution and the power of the different level of government. Uh, judiciary means that organ of the government which protect the law made by legislature executed by executive right that is judiciary 
Now, in federal state, judiciary has given a very important role to play. And what that role? That role is judiciary's power to interpret the constitution. It means, see, with the change of the time, so many things got outdated, right? And they need to replace with the new ideas. In the same way, when our constitution was drafted and when it was adapted, there are so many such laws, there are so many such sections, articles were kept, which were very, very much essential for the betterment of the people, for the progress of the people, for the upliftment of the society. But as we have completed this uh, 70 plus years of independence and within these 70 plus of years of independence, we have made lots of progress. The human civilization has progressed a lot. Now there are so many such provisions also lies in the constitution which, which has no meaning today. Means they are just not going to uh, help much. That's why often these things need to be changed. And these things are often changed by whom? Either par in a parliament, it was changed by the parliamentary through discuss, debate and many things. And apart from that, often judiciary play a very important role to change that, interpret that. Clear? Not only that, in federalism, what we find, judiciary play very important role. What is what? And to interpret the power of different level of the government. If any such issues arise where judiciary feels these things which are lies with the uh, central government, which are lies with the state government, now they are not needed. Now judiciary can judiciary can interpret the powers. So in federalism, this is another very important feature to understand. This is what judiciary has the power to interpret the constitution and the power of the different level of the government. And never. If judiciary feels some power need to give to this uh, community level of the government, state government, central government, then it can suggest. If it think that no, now such power should not be given, it uh, can think on it. You can it can take a decision on it. Finally, the source of revenue for the each level of the government has clearly specified. What are the source of revenue? You see, for the nation, for every state, the source of revenue, taxation, no? Right? That is a ultimate way how a state earns and it's fill its uh, treasure uh, through which it can look after or fulfill the demands of the people. Okay? So, from which arena, which area, the state government will collect the tax, from which area, the central government will collect the tax. All these are very clearly specified. Clear? Now you see, these are the features. These are the features of federalism. Right? So, any country where we find that these features are, these features are followed, we can call that as what? Federal state or federal country or that is what the idea of federalism clear now if idea of federalism is all about this or any country any state practices this idea then we can say that that is federalism then there are so many countries which have which is called as a federal state or federal country do all they are saying then let us try to understand this. If they are same, how? If they are not, then how? In this particular segment, if you see the federal, federal state or the idea of federalism or how it is practiced, it's not similar in all the 
federal state or in all the federation let us take or let us try to understand why because it has a different root okay the federalism has a roots why right federalism federalism has a roots of its originate and these roots are called as what coming together coming together is it visible coming together and another is holding together right means what i am going to tell you is that based on these features if we understand yes this is a federal state this is a federal country but it means not like that all the federal state they have a same nature of work or working style and why there is such differences these differences are because of their origination how they originate then if you see all the federal state it, it has the two roots which is called as coming together and another is holding together do you know in coming together type of uh, federation both the center and the state government both the center and the state government they exercise equal power right getting me they exercise equal power right but in holding together type of federation in holding together type of federation the central government central government exercise more power than state government exercise more power than see more powers than state government okay why in this kind of federation means in coming together type of federation what happened all the state they come together and they join and they make one big country correct so this kind of federation is called what this kind of federation is called as what coming together that that's why in coming together type of federation center and the state is enjoying same power equal power the best example of this is what united states of america america is also a what federal state but what kind of federal state that is coming together type of federal state when so many country they come and they join united uh, washington dc and it's become a one big country okay in holding together type of federation what happened the central government it's hold the state government okay it has brought so many state in it right through some agreement you see after independence in india so many states you no know, they have joined the union and it's become one big country so in a holding together type of federation the state uh, center keep hold over the state that's why here center exercise more power than the state the best example is what our own country that is india right that's why you see in india center has exercise 97 subjects to make laws and state 66 subjects to make laws this is center and this is state now see who exercise more power in here here in compared to state so how the federalism has come in existence this is one of the very important note to understand which help to know the different characteristics of the federalism so i hope i uh, just able to make you understand today we have discussed what is federalism 
okay and uh, what are the features by which we can identify federalism and the root of federalism and which is because of which we have two types of federalism that is called coming together and another is called holding together so this is the first video of the chapter and rest part of the chapter i will discuss in the next video watch it very carefully listen it note down and refer the text once stay safe and stay healthy thank you so much bye